In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the MSI Afterburners Video Capture. You can use this to capture your desktop or even record your gameplay. The first thing you need to do is open up MSI Afterburner and once you have it open, you now need to click on Settings. Your layout might be slightly different to mine, it just depends what theme you have set for MSI Afterburner. As you can see, my settings cog is here. Once you have the MSI Afterburner settings open, you then need to scroll all the way across until you see Video Capture. You then need to click onto this tab and you will then have a window that looks like this. And as you can see, there are lots of different options. And the first option we want to set is the Video Capture hotkey. We need to decide what buttons we want to press to begin the record and then stop the record. So I'm going to go ahead and use Control and S. And if I now hold down Control and S, it will then begin to record. And then if I press it again, it will stop the recording. I'm now going to go ahead and press Apply. And we're now going to take a little look at the video capture properties. And as you can see, we have Capture Mode. If you click on the drop down, you have two options. You have Desktop or 3D Application. I like to keep this on mixed so it will capture my desktop and also my games. Our next option is video format. You have a few different options here as well. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on the default format. We then have a few more options under container format. We have AVI or MKV. We then have the quality. You can go ahead and turn this all the way up to 100% if you want. Or if you're just doing a real fast sample video, then you can lower the quality so the video file size is smaller. We then have frame size. You can click on the drop down to select full frame, or you can select 1050p. There's lots of different options here you can select. And also you do have 1080p here. We then have the frame rate FPS. As you can see, it's currently locked to 30 frames per second. You could turn this all the way up to 120 if you want to. And you can also change the frame rate limit. We now have the folder where we want our captures to be stored. I'm happy for them to be saved in my videos folder. If you click on view, you can then see the folder where all the videos will be stored. I'm just going to minimize this for a minute because I will then at the end of this video show you the recorded videos. If we scroll down a little bit more, you have a few more settings you can change as well. I'm now going to go ahead and press apply and OK. You do need to close down this window to begin recording. If I was to press Ctrl and S right now, Afterburner will not record. So I'm going to now press OK and I'm now just going to record my desktop for a second. I'm now going to hold down Ctrl and press S and it's now recording. Unlike when you're recording in a video game, it does actually show when it's recording, but on the desktop, there's no indication that it's currently recording. If I open the folder that I was showing you where it gets stored, you can see the file is now being created. If I then go ahead and press Ctrl and S again, the file will then be finished. And there we go, I can then go ahead and open up this video file. I'm just going to go ahead and double click on it. And there we go. As you can see, it successfully recorded my desktop. And if I fast forward, you should then see me open up my folder. And there we go. So that is how you record your desktop using MSI Afterburner. I'm now just going to open up a game quickly and then show you the recording quality of a game. Okay, and as you can see, I now have a game open. And it does currently say buff on the left-hand side, you can see. This means that it's doing a pre-record on the game. It doesn't mean that I'm currently recording the game, but it does store a file. If I open up File Explorer quickly, you can see there is a pre-record file. You can actually turn this option off in the MSI Afterburner settings. I will just quickly show you how to do that. If we go all the way across again to video capture, you can see the option here, video pre-record. We can change this to manual if you want to, if you don't want it to pre-record. 
Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and record Ninja X using MSI Afterburner. And also, if you do use River Tuner, then it will also capture all the on-screen FPS and basically whatever your system is doing. So it's now time to go Control and S. And as you can see, all the squares are just going around in circles. And I'm just going to jump around a little bit. Let's do some little flips. That's cool. Right, so... If I now go ahead and press Ctrl and S again, and if we now open up that folder and double click, you can see the file is there. And there we go, you can see it's now recorded Ninja X. And if we just fast forward to the end, you can see that's the gameplay footage. And that is how you use MSI Afterburner Recorder. I hope this tutorial did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.